Welcome to my YouTube channel, Winterpedia. Today we will talk about Nagus rayonagrina, ancient snake with legs. Nagus rayonagrina, a fascinating and significant discovery in the field of paleontology, represents an ancient snake with legs, challenging conventional beliefs about the evolution of these reptiles. This serpent, whose fossils were unearthed in the Rio Negro province of Argentina, provides valuable insights into the evolutionary history of snakes and their transition from limbed ancestors to the limbless forms we see today. Discovery and Naming Nagish Rayonagrina was first discovered in the early 2000s by a team of paleontologists led by Dr. Hussam Zahar from the Museo de Zoologia da Universidad de Sao Paulo. The fossils were found in the Candeleros Formation, dating back to the Upper Cretaceous period, approximately 90 million years ago. The genus name Medjash is derived from the Hebrew word for snake, emphasizing its serpentine nature, while Rio Negrina refers to the Rio Negro province, where the fossils were discovered. Snake with Legs Nagish Rio Negrina is a remarkable specimen because it possessed hind limbs, challenging the traditional view of snakes as entirely limbless creatures. The presence of these legs suggests that snakes may have evolved from a common ancestor with four limbs, similar to other reptiles. The hind limbs in Najesh were relatively small, indicating that the snake likely had limited locomotive abilities on land. Evolutionary Significance The discovery of Najesh Rayonagrina holds profound implications for our understanding of snake evolution. It suggests that the loss of limbs in snakes did not occur in a linear fashion but rather involved complex evolutionary processes. The presence of hind limbs in Najash indicates that snakes retained limb features longer in their evolutionary history than previously thought. Fossil Characteristics The fossilized remains of Najash Rayonagrina include well-preserved vertebrae, skull fragments, and, notably, hind limb bones. The hind limbs exhibit features consistent with early snake evolution providing crucial details about the anatomical changes that occurred during this transitional phase in snake evolution. Lifestyle and Environment While Magus Rionagrina possessed legs, its overall body structure still resembled that of a snake, suggesting that it was adapted for a semifossorial lifestyle. It likely inhabited environments with a combination of terrestrial and burrowing habits. The discovery sheds light on the ecological diversity of ancient snake species during the Cretaceous period. Paleoenvironment of Candeleros Formation The Candeleros Formation, where Najish Rayonagrina was found, represents a sedimentary rock formation from the late Cretaceous period. This region was characterized by a mix of terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems, featuring a variety of dinosaurs, crocodiles, and other reptiles. The presence of Najesh adds a unique dimension to the understanding of this ancient ecosystem. Comparisons with Modern Snakes Studying Magus Rionagrina allows scientists to draw comparisons between ancient and modern snake species, analyzing the evolutionary changes in limb morphology and overall body structure, provides insights into the selective pressures that led to the adaptation of limbless locomotion in snakes over millions of years. Scientific Research and Collaboration The study of Nagus Rionagrina exemplifies the importance of international collaboration and scientific research in advancing our understanding of paleontology. The interdisciplinary efforts of paleontologists, geologists, and anatomists contribute to the comprehensive analysis of fossils and the reconstruction of ancient ecosystems. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.